Derby Day sets the pace of the Melbourne Cup Carnival with no help from the weather. Unsettled, rain-threatening, temperatures in the 90s and hot, blustery winds. But the carnival is traditionally a kaleidoscope of ladies' fashions, and attracting all eyes, Paris mannequin Christine Borge in a white wool suit by Patu. Startling in its simplicity, the white all-on dress worn by London's top model, Jean Shrimpton. The fashions in the field contest, and Miss Elizabeth Kurtz wins an award for an elegant hat. Another presentation made by Christine Borge to Mrs Faith Norris, a Jamaican mannequin. Over the carnival, £15,000 worth of prizes will be won in the contest. State Governor Sir Rowan Delacombe is in the stands, as Bowl King No. 7 and New Zealander Mai Call go out for the £6,000 Craven A stakes run over six furlongs. One to watch, number 13 is Picker. Right now, here's Bert Bryant. They're racing this time, a good even break. Clam and I's bounced out in front, nicely clear on the flat side from Nidaku. Picker got away well and so did Ferguson and Contempla. Running into a prominent position was Rio Beaton for early pace out in the centre. Bowl King is going like last week's plan as a scalded cat out of that. Four links in the centre. Water out as Royal Lee and so is Tone and down the outside of the Yeno. And now Ferguson bolted through to go to the front. A furlong and a half to go. Ferguson nicely clear of Bowl King all over the track. Then Royal Centaur pick a Rio coming home well followed by Harmonise Beaton and then Nidaku down the outside from Ariel. Three parts of a furlong to go. It's all Ferguson. Here's Picker now starting to pick it up. Picker is going home over the top of Ferguson. In point, Picker doing the better. Picker put his head in front and one. Picker first, Ferguson second, Nidaku third. It's a brilliant win for Picker and Jockey Mallion. The local sprinter was the subject of solid backing and looks set for bigger things. A nice victory, too, for owner Mrs. Johnson, whose husband accepts the trophy presented by Mr. Law's Deputy Chairman, W.D. and H.O. Wills. The Craven A Stakes, a highlight of Derby Day, prelude to Australia's greatest race, the Melbourne Cup. Yes, the day that stops Australia and starts a betting spree that makes a punter out of office boy and boss alike. Flemington becomes the perfect backdrop for a great turf occasion. Going out onto the track for the celebrated two-miler, top-weight craftsman leading the other 25 starters. They're all set for the 30,000 cup. They're off and racing to a brilliant dispatch, and there they go. Tobin Bronze on the inside, bounced out in front of Prince Grant. Sail away, commenced brilliantly, and just behind them, Zima, Midlander, Piper Sun in the centre, Matlock began brilliantly, crossing uh, from the outside, going into a prominent position is the dip, and down the outside, it's Yangtze, and also Sir Winyard looking for the way across, a great surge running down the straight the first time at the two where it's Yangtze by three parts of a length of Tobin Bronze on the inside, a length and a half to Prince Grant on the outside of Zima, hunting horn light fingers in that pack, moving up as Jovial Knight, then Midlander on the inside of Sir Winyard Strauss taking closer order but out wide. They're followed by Matlock on the inside of Craftsman. Ball hit on the fence. Swinging wide going out of the straight as El Jalon. So is Zingali. Uh, next to last along there is Tasman Ladd. And Mission brought up the rear. Moving up quickly on the outside is Zingali. Just behind them, Tobin Broms on the rails. Going around the outside is Sir Winyard at that stage as they commence the run down to the turn and they're followed by Zaima. Light fingers in behind them and they can't see sail away at this stage as they turn the corner. Into the straight now with two and a half to go. Yanks hit the leader from Tobin Bronze challenging Midlander up on the fence. Right around is Zaima and Light Fingers has given full berth, followed by Prince Grant and Zaima went to the lead. It's Zaima in front. It's Zaima coming away now from Yancey. Light Fingers is there on the outside, followed by Midlander. Zaima in front. Light Fingers is in spy and swearing it down. Zaima, Light Fingers. Light Fingers, Zaima. Zaima, Light Fingers. They hit the line. A dead heat. A dead heat between Zaymer and Light Fingers, third Midlander, followed by... A Yankee. sensational cup with a photo finish to decide Light Fingers, the winner from Stablemate Zaymer, and a great day for top-ranking jockey Roy Higgins. Making his first appearance at the cup as Governor-General, Lord Casey presents the trophy to owner W.J. Broderick. A tremendous performance by the three-year-old filly, who suffered a shoulder injury earlier in the season. But today, Light Fingers steals the limelight, and the cup... <laughs>